Hey, this is Josh from Euro Optic. We're here to talk about Sika's new Kelvin Aerolite bag. Start it up. Now let's take a look at this bag. One thing you'll notice is this bag utilizes Sika's new Aerolite technology, which utilizes the power of air to add increased warmth while minimizing the profile of the synthetic insulation. Uh, this allows the bag to pack down small and keep you warm when wet. It's a 30 degree bag, uh, which can be stretched down to zero degrees, uh, depending on how you utilize it with your system. Uh, it makes it a very versatile and functional bag. This bag is designed to be an extension of your existing clothing system. Uh, whether you're glassing a ridge or hanging around camp, uh, it's built to be very multifunctional. It comes in two sizes. It comes in a regular size and a long size. Uh, the regular is made to fit someone up to six foot and the long is made to fit up to six foot six. Uh, it has generous room in the shoulders for those who don't like to feel cramped in their sleeping bag. Um, whether you're a side sleeper, uh, move around a lot, it'll be very comfortable for you. One thing you'll notice is there's a ton of features within this bag. They designed it with a center zip that's going to run the full length of the body all the way down to your feet. All right, very easy uh, to get in and out of. It comes with two armholes to maximize livability. Uh, whether you're sitting in glassing on a ridge or hanging around camp, you're going to be able to sit up, have your arms out. Uh, it makes it very functional uh, to live and work in. Another nice feature you'll see is this bag has a little hook and a loop that you'll be able to hook up from underneath. You'll be able to stick your legs out and walk around while you still have the bag on. It makes it very functional, um, gives you a lot of uses to uh, keep it within your system and keep you warm. Another feature you'll notice is the hood. So the hood is built to mimic a uh, existing down jacket or any of the other puffy systems that you'll see. Uh, it's fits just like a jacket hood. Uh, it's a little bit different than a regular sleeping bag uh, because of the functionality of it. You can tighten it, loosen it, um, you know, however you like. There's a lot of different uh, ways you can come customize this bag. This was rated as a 30 degree bag. Uh, it's built to be an extension of your system. Uh, so you're able to layer under it uh, and, and utilize those layers to stretch it down to comfortably probably zero, maybe a little bit above uh, degrees. Uh, really makes it a very functional and uh, you know, great sleeping bag for multi-uses. For a synthetic bag, this bag comes in at 38 ounces. Uh, it's still very light uh, and comparable to a down bag uh, because of the new insulation. As you may have noticed when we were unpacking the bag, it does come with this very nice storage sack uh, to be able to store your bag when you're not in use. Uh, I wish it had come with a stuff sack, but it doesn't come with a stuff sack. As you can see, I have another bag here uh, in a stuff sack. Uh, I typically like to keep my bags in a waterproof stuff sack. Uh, this being synthetic, it's not necessarily a necessity, um, but as you can see, it does pack down very small. Uh, for being a synthetic bag, which is typically not what you will see out of a bag this size. Um, I have a Nalgene here. Uh, just for size comparisons, you can see. Overall with this bag, I'm really impressed with the features that it offers and the functionality. Uh, it's very versatile. Uh, being that it's a synthetic, it packs down incredibly small. Um, you know, compared to my down bags, uh, which I typically use, I I'm very impressed. Uh, features are great. Uh, it's going to stay warm when it's wet. I uh, really can't say enough about this bag. I'm excited to try it out this fall. Hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, a like, uh, and subscribe to our YouTube. And you can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.